This video demonstrates how voltage disturbances such as unbalance, asymmetry, and harmonics affect the rotating magnetic field of a three-phase induction motor. First, consider the stator of a three-phase induction motor with two poles and 24 slots. This stator is powered by a sinusoidal three-phase voltage. On the left side of the video, you can see the three-phase voltage. This three-phase voltage will create a rotating magnetic field inside the motor. To see how this rotating magnetic field is created, watch the corresponding video. As you can see, the rotating magnetic field is uniform and has no distortion. It only contains a positive sequence and its negative sequence will be zero. The curve-colored orange represents the positive component. On the left side of the video, you can see voltage and magnetic flux curves. The green curve is equivalent to the green vector and represents the magnitude of the rotating field. However, in reality, due to the non-uniform distribution of MMF inside the motor's interior surface, the rotating field will always be accompanied by slight distortions. Nevertheless, for simplicity in understanding the main concept, this issue has been overlooked. Additionally, the reaction of the rotor has been disregarded. Any variation in either the phase voltage or impedance within the motor circuit results in an imbalance in the stator current. The imbalance of the stator current poses a significant concern due to its impact on the operational reliability of the motor. If the three-phase voltage is unbalanced, the shape of the rotating magnetic field will change. As you can see on the left side, the voltage of the first phase has decreased by 30%, and the voltage of the second phase has decreased by 15%. With this voltage, the field inside the motor's surface is not uniform, and it changes based on the location of each phase winding. As observed, the field has taken an elliptical shape. In these conditions, the rotating field has both positive and negative sequences. However, there is also zero sequence. But since the zero sequence does not contribute to the creation of the rotating field, we disregard it. The presence of the zero sequence leads to heat generation, losses, and saturation. The positive sequence consists of three balanced vectors and rotates clockwise, while the negative sequence consists of three balanced vectors and rotates counterclockwise. The positive sequence generates an electromagnetic torque, while the negative component creates a braking torque. The negative sequence current generates torque that opposes the motor's rotation, effectively attempting to retard its rotation. Consequently, the net torque produced by the motor will decrease. Additionally, the negative sequence leads to more heat generation and losses. On the left side, you can observe voltage and magnetic flux curves, showing the magnitude of the magnetic field at 360 degrees. Also, on the right side, you can observe the size and rotation direction of the positive and negative sequences and their sum. The sum of the positive and negative sequences equals the magnetic flux inside the stator. However, if the voltage imbalance is such that one of the phases has a voltage higher than the nominal value, magnetic saturation may occur at the stator. Currently, the effect of voltage asymmetry is being investigated. In this section, it is assumed that the voltage magnitudes of the phases are the same, but the second phase is slightly deviated. The rotating field has all three sequences, positive, negative, and zero. However, as mentioned, the zero sequence will not create a rotational magnetic field. The shape of the field has become elliptical. The field shape resembles the previous state where the voltages were unbalanced. You can see the sum of positive and negative sequences in green. It is clear that the negative sequence causes the rotating field 
to be non-uniform. It affects both its magnitude and phase. You can observe that for moments, the magnetic flux vector falls behind the positive component vector and then compensates for the lag. It is at this moment that braking torque is generated, leading to a decrease in motor efficiency and an increase in heat and losses. Additionally, the presence of a negative component in the rotating field causes vibration in induction motors. In the following, we investigate the effect of harmonic presence on the rotational magnetic field. We assume that the three-phase voltages include harmonics of 5, 7 and 11. On the left side, you can observe the magnitudes of these harmonics. Each harmonic creates a rotational magnetic field with a frequency proportional to that harmonic. Although their amplitudes are small, they alter the rotational magnetic field. Harmonics such as 7th, 13th, 19th and so forth behave similarly to positive sequence and rotates clockwise. Harmonics that are multiples of thuth do not create any rotational magnetic field and behave like zero sequence. Harmonics such as 5th, 11th, 17th and so forth behave similarly to negative sequence and rotate counterclockwise. On the left side, you can see the amplitude curves of the rotational magnetic field, voltages and magnetic fluxes. On the right side, you can observe the magnetic field corresponding to each harmonic. The presence of harmonics leads to increased vibration, resistance due to skin effect, and iron and copper losses in the motor, thereby reducing its efficiency. Moreover, it may also cause saturation in the stator. Please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and share our content with your friends. Leave us a comment if you have any questions or suggestions.